Hey guys, I'm Dina from simplyhomecook.com and today I'll be showing you how to make these delicious chipotle chicken bowls. The chicken is marinated in chipotle peppers and adobo sauce and then it's grilled to juicy perfection and oh my goodness, it is so, so delicious. So let's get started with one of the main ingredients in this recipe and that is the chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. So if you're looking for this in the grocery store, it'll be in the ethnic foods aisle. Um, usually comes in like a seven ounce can. So this is something you cannot substitute. This is one of the most important ingredients here. It brings out all that chipotle flavor. So no substitutions here. So you wanna open the can up. You wanna um, chop all those peppers roughly and then add it to about three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And when you add the peppers in, make sure to add in all that extra sauce that was left in the can. Make sure to add that into the chicken. That's a ton of flavor you don't wanna throw away. Now add in two pressed garlic cloves, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of cumin, and three tablespoons of olive oil. Now you wanna mix all the ingredients really well together and then cover it with plastic wrap. And then you wanna let it marinate in the refrigerator for at least two hours. Once the chicken has been marinated, grease your grill and bring it up to high heat and then grill the chicken about four to five minutes per side or until the chicken reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Once your chicken's done, take it off the grill and put it on the plate, then cover it with foil and let it rest for like five to 10 minutes so all that juice gets absorbed back into the chicken so it's super juicy. So while your chicken's resting, you can cut up your avocado. I cut mine into like half inch cubes. And then now you can take your chicken out and start chopping it up into tiny cubes. I mean, you could really chop it into whatever size you want. I like mine in like tiny cubes. So once that's all chopped up, you can start adding all your ingredients into your chipotle chicken bowl. So start off with the iceberg lettuce, then add however much chicken you want, add some black beans, cooked brown rice, a salsa of your choice, the chopped avocado, and of course the sour cream. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please be sure to share, like and subscribe to our channel so you guys never miss out on any of our new recipes. See you next time!